Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to feature the day's play highlight, the third day of the second test match played between Team India and Team New Zealand from the Wan Khede Stadium in Mumbai. Pujara steps out on the ball of William Summerville and got the first boundary of the day. Takes a very full ball from the middle stem and suddenly whips it to the angle through mid wicket for four run. Pujara ventures out of the crease once again and made a full toss. This time on the ball of Azaz Patel and closes bat face and whip another four to the right of the mid on for four more run. Two full and wearing down the leg side. Duly picked off the fine pass the left of the keeper and right of the long leg for four more run. Pujara dances out twice and picked up the boundaries in the last over. Azaz now digs in. Short and outside off, and Pujara jumps back and pummels a pull over mid wicket this time for four more run. Another Agrawal special. What a way to bring up his second 50 plus score in this test match. Azaz tosses up, it's outside off, and Agrawal makes room, jumps out of the crease, and flays it up and over the extra cover for a six run. Push to just a shade outside off, and Agrawal doesn't step out this time, but still manufactures a bit of swinging room and sneers it away past Mitchell at short cover for back to back boundaries. And a great shot. Agrawal shakes off the blow immediately, makes room, and and drive inside out over extra cover once again, collapses his back leg and steps out and bam what a great shot. And here comes the wicket and Azaz Patel got another wicket, his 11th wicket in the match and the first wicket of Team India in the second innings. Azaz is Agrawal holding out to long on for this 11th wicket this test match and Agrawal has to go now floated up on the off stump. Despite long off in the place, Agrawal lashes out of the left arm finger spinner. The ball grips and turns slightly as Agrawal can only slice a catch to Willie Young and that's gone. Mayang Agrawal has been caught by Young, bowled by Patel on 62 run and one more wicket. Here comes the 12th one for Azaz Patel and this time it's the wicket of Cheteshwar Pujara. Outside is taken by slip and that's 12 for Azaz. He remains New Zealand's only wicket taker in this test match. Nicely flatted on the off and turns away sharply enough to kiss the edge and go to Taylor's at first slip. Pujara was on the front foot to defend the ball turn more than he expected. They are checking the replays to see if Ross Taylor took the catch cleanly. Appears to me as that's gone and indeed out. Pujara has to go has already started to walk off but stopped due to catch being checked. Chiteshwar Pujara departs, caught by Ross Taylor, bowled by Azaz Patel on 47 run, continues the line of attack, shot and into the body from around the wicket but Gil had made up his mind so he was moving absolutely so at a pull to deep mid wicket, ball didn't bounce enough to make him uncomfortable then four more and once again Gil backs away to give himself room against the short ball attack line and manages to flat bat it to the pass mid off. Fielder gives chase but the ball just above wins the race for boundary and at the end of the session at the lunch in the third day of the second test match the score of team india in the second inning is 142 run with the loss of two wicket and they now have a lead of 405 run over team new zealand's first inning score in the second test match and the bowler continues the line of attack and shot and into the body from around the wicket but Gil had made up his mind so he was moving away and absolutely sweater pulled to deep mid wicket ball didn't bounce enough to make him that's gone for four run floated up outside of and full Gil sees the flight and that's gone and Forrest down the track and holds it over the mid wicket for six more run and now this time a six came from the bat of Virat Kohli. Kohli has now steps down and track get closer to the pitch and wax summer will over wide long one for six run good ball followed by a bad one dragged down outside of and Kohli rocks on the back foot and pull it over mid wicket for four more run and here comes the wicket made and test wicket for Achin Ravindra shot from Ravindra it keep low and comes low off the track and Gil can't keep it down and get enough elevation he can only slash it to the Latham at the short cover for an overhead catch first test wicket for a New Zealand spinner rather than Azaz in this series Shuman Gil got gone and caught by Latham bowled by Ravindra on 47 run pumped over mid wicket for six a year charges at Somerville and clawed it over the long leg boundary for six run back to back sixes for Shreyas Ayer. Summer will shift his line wide off off but same response from Ayer down the track and belted with the spin over mid wicket for a 6 run such a dominant player against Spiz what a great shot by Shreyas Ayer and gone Ajaz Patel got another wicket beaten empathetically once again full drift it and then the spin just away enough to go past the outside as Blundell collects the ball take his time and then removes the bail no bat involved as confirmed by the ultra as the TV empire is now checking for the stumping chances Ayer's back foot on the line by the time the keeper flick the bail but is asking for the split screen views and that's gone it's wicket number 13 for Azaz Patel in the Mumbai test Shreyas here has been stumped by Tom Blundell bowled by Azaz Patel on 14 run and one more wicket of Team India gone down pushed through outside off and Zaha stretches out and fetches out from the sweeps it hard and flat through the square leg for 4 more run and he got Kohli big wicket and the wicket of the captain of Team India and Rachin Ravid got another wicket chopping on and Kohli is on his haunches he simply can't believe it 
push through outside off and spins away cool he stretches out and drag it back onto his own stump and that's gone a huge wicket for Rachin Ravindra and give Ravindra his second wicket Virat Kohli has been bowled by Rachin Ravindra on 36 and in 84 ball and one more wicket of Team India gone down sharp turn and that will be four by his pitch on the stumps and broke away between the keeper and the leg slip for four more runs and this time it's a slog sweep to the mid wicket boundary and nimbly down the track and that's gone for four runs Saha is proficient with the sweep and has already used it well with this inning does so again launched over longer on the ball of Azaz Patel by Aksa Patel nimbly down the track and lift this with a clean goal swing way over the boundary and now the lead of team India over the New Zealand score in the second inning has crossed 500 and with that and that's a great shot by Aksar Patel and gone Rachin Ravindra got another wicket caught by the tall Jamie Sundaring back at long on Ravindra ensuring the wicket go to the left arm spinners but eating into Ajaz potentially tally Saha looks to him and takes sips down down the track and wanted to launch it over long on but gets it near the end of the bat and Jamie is standing well inside the boundary between mid on and long on in the fact and has to run back a bit and use his height to good effect by holding it high above his head with the arms outstretched Riddhi Mansa has been caught by Jamieson bowled by Rachin Ravindra on 13 run and one more wicket for Ravindra dragged too short he rocked back and hammer a pull forward or square for a boundary he traveled like a rocket he belted the cover off for four more run boom that is some magnificent timing by Akshay Longitly steps down the track big back lift and get to the pitch of the ball and swing it high and mighty way over long on for six more run dismissive back to back sixes Akshay has decided to go on tossed up wider outside off he goes on the knee and simply smash the cover of the ball sending into a powerfully six over long on Aksar on the charge what a scintillating hitting this is from Aksar Patel on the ball of Rachin Ravindra down the track once again not fully to the pitch of the ball but he has a very clean bat swing and great timing smash it over mid wicket for six more run first power now delicate shot by Aksar Patel on the ball of Rachin Ravindra went wider outside off and spinning away he waits on it and late carried past the slip again great timing and the ball wins the race to the boundary for one more boundary smash Akshar unleashed what a great hitting this has been by Akshar Patel on the bowlers of team New Zealand the spin bowlers Rachin Ravindra and Azaz Patel down the track again and drives it bullet straight flat over the bowlers and into the straight boundary for one more boundary and now Jen gets into the act they have been clearly given license to go have fun and dances on the track and thumbs it all way long gone with a dismissive sweat for a one more six and a huge six by Jayant Yadav on the ball of Azaz Patel and now got another wicket and this time once again the wicket goes to Azaz Patel and now he has 14 wicket in this Mumbai test and India have declared to toss up again Jan looking to come forward and turn it leg side the dip and return me he can only get a leading edge that pops back to Azaz Jan Yadav has been caught and bowled by Azaz Patel on 6 run and Azaz Patel called 14 wicket and India have declared with a lead of 539 run New Zealand need 540 run to win this test match and India India need 10 wickets to win this touch mass and just scintillating batting from Akshar Patel unbeaten on 41 run of 26 ball and scintillating hitting from the lower order batsmen of Team India and that means Team India have declared on 276 run with the loss of 7 wicket that means Team New Zealand will need 540 run to win the second test match and Team India need 10 wickets to win the second test match against Team New Zealand here in Wankhede Stadium in Mumbai. And so here's the chase of Team New Zealand of 540 run against Team India in the second test match in the third day second session begins and India in a huddle at the boundary edge coolly delivering the speech Will Young and Tom Latham in the middle for Team New Zealand and Siraj will start the bowling length ball on the stump he's on the front foot to tuck it toward the mid-wicket stays on the pad and Young neatly glances that to the fine leg for a boundary to get off the mark and that's the first boundary of the second inning of Team New Zealand and now get on the straight and after angling in from slightly wide of the crease Similar ball got him first inning. This time it's a touch fuller and young defend on the off stump and that's a dot ball. Still wide of the crease, but this one goes with the angle and end up on the pads again. Clip towards the mid wicket for a couple of runs. Good length in the channel and shoulder arms. Back of length on a fifth stump line leaves it alone. And at the end of first over, the score of Team New Zealand is seven and with the loss of no wicket. Tossed up on the off stump and defended onto the front foot. Defended outside of this time. Goes well with the angle and end up on the leg stump and lay them quickly to get into the position and sweep it hard to the backward square leg boundary for another boundary beauty Ajaz Patel with the other hand drifts and just dips spins past bat and bouncing high and circle smartly high to his left and Ashwin great uh, did a great bowling there on the 
Tom Lee thumbs bad and that's just can't even touching him and that's gone for a dot ball falls over trying to sweep and that's on to the stumps and ball rolls off the pad but doesn't hit stumps too and he's just about to knock it off with the bat while not letting bat knock into the stumps good length on the off and big side out to the defender and at the end of two over the score of team New Zealand is 11 run with the loss of no wicket length ball angling into him onto the front foot to nudge it to the final leg for a single fuller onto the stumps straight bat defense from back to the bowler stays onto the leg stump again and shaping into the left hander but the wrong line so picked it off and just a single this time once again on that ball and a two bit low from Siraj and this one comes back and sharply was well outside of and so so kept just gone and safely left alone kept a bit too low good length angling into him onto the off and defended to the short mid wicket and get that one straight and a touch again but safely defended by Young even though that was a bit squared up and at the end of 3 over the score of team New Zealand is 13 run with the loss of no wicket fuller on off and defended onto the front foot rolls of a thick outside eyes along the ground for a dot ball make him stretch forward to defend Latham does so well enough outside off keep it on that length outside of where Latham has to come onto the front foot and defended that delivery good length outside of again and defended onto the front foot once again and now he's turned that length and into the meeting and that makes the line straighter a touch and Latham is suddenly not in a perfect position to play the forward defensive shot manages to keep it down of the high part of the bat and here comes the wicket and Ashwin got the first wicket for team India slides in with the arm and the LBW appeal is upheld but Latham reviews after a brief chat with Young and that's gone three right on to the review on Latham has to go Tom Latham has been leg before wicket by Ashwin on six run and at the end of the session at T the score of team New Zealand is 13 run with the loss of one wicket.